Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well and I would like to show you today, um, so I'm in France, in the kitchen here and you have uh, the salad and um, here you have several dishes which are prepared by the French butcher and um, um, they are uh, the kind of, in fact, this one is, um, Chinese people really like it a lot and it's called the jambonneau, jambonneau and it's some kind of, uh, it's a pig and it's the pig uh, meat, you know, and the Chinese people really like it a lot, you can see, and normally we only uh, order half of it, but non normally it's, it's wool, they have the wool piece. And why in, in China, uh, they have about the same specialty, but it's very, very expensive. And um, in the past, only the landowners uh, would eat this kind of dish. And then here you have two other dish, one is called the rillette, uh, it's, it can be made of uh, duck or goose, and uh, this is also something you will take it like this and you will use it together with on the bread, you know, on the bread, maybe with the butter as well. And this one is pâté. And in fact, um, in France, the, the butcher are very uh, well known and they have many specialities. And there they were always many talks about the French uh, butcher um, were going to sell the French specialties abroad in China, but they were never able to penet penetrate, um, to get inside the Chinese market. Why is that? Because there is a very, very strong lobby in China uh, from, the, um, from the meat producer, from the pork producer. There is a huge lobby and they are very powerful. So if you want to sell all this speciality to China and trade them, it's not possible. You have huge taxes. And now what they are doing, uh, because you know Chinese people are very clever, the Chinese authority are very clever, um, you have, uh, they just get the know-how. So you have some French butcher who go to China and they teach the Chinese butcher how to do this one, how to do this one, or this one they have the same, but how to do this one, the rillette, or how to do this one. And it's very suitable to Chinese uh, consumer. The, the, and um, then it will be made in China, uh, French uh, specialty. They already do this with the goose liver. So now in all the north of China, you have a um, uh, Chinese producer who produce the goose liver. And they just got the know-how from a French, um, French butcher and French special. Uh, they, they got the know-how from France, and now they just made it in China. Of course, the quality is not so high, but still, they are able to sell it on all the Chinese markets and also even uh, sell them abroad as well. And uh, this is what I want to show you today, and I will just uh, leave you and enjoy my my lunch. And this is also something I, I think you don't know, probably in China, if you're in Chinese, this is a tomato. Um, so you have many, many species of tomato, the same as for potatoes or apple. And now in France, you can buy different species. Back maybe 10 years ago or 20 years ago, you only had one species that was uh, everywhere in the supermarket. But now you, con the French consumers, they want more. Even they are willing to pay uh, more in order to get different species and different tastes. So this tomato is not the same taste as this one, for instance, you know, there are two, two tomatoes, two different tastes. And I will just leave you for now. Take care and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.